Hello guys, welcome to Supcode and today here with me, Kulio Kininda, software engineer with a little over seven years experience and today I'll be taking you through the ultimate Spring developer series from beginner all the way to advanced on how you can develop enterprise grade world-class Spring web applications. So without wasting any of your time, let's get cracking. The agenda for this series includes Spring Framework, Spring Core, Spring Boot, Spring Cloud, Spring MVC, Spring Data JPA, Spring Security, as well as Spring Integration. By the end of the series, you will understand how to use all of these modules to create an enterprise-grade web-based application, and you'll be able to deploy that into an environment such as your AWS EC2. So let's get to it. For the prerequisites in this particular series, you're looking at Java fundamentals, object-oriented programming principles, your inheritance, um, your polymorphism, abstraction, and things like that, uh, and also basic web application understanding on how web applications behave, or if you've used like a HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and things like that. Basic database um, understanding, this will be querying a database, creating a table, adding columns, uh, inserting data into the database, retrieving data from a select, and um, finally, some version control understanding like your Git or similar version control. <music> We're gonna start by Java installation. So we're gonna get our Java SDK. So we'll just type Java install in our browser and hit enter. We wanna go to Oracle Java downloads. So we're gonna click on that. And over here you can see it takes us to Java downloads and the latest um, Java development kit. So the Java development kit is our toolkit for developing Java applications. And as we've established on the previous episode, that Spring is a Java-based framework. So if you haven't watched that episode, I'll link it in this video and the description down below. So please do check that out so that we follow along with the entire series. So this is JDK 25 and we also have JDK 21. Uh, so these are the latest um, long-term support versions that have been released as of the recording of this video and you might be watching this in the future and you have newer releases always take the latest stable release um, long-term support versions so i would recommend that at all times so let's get to the downloads you have different operating systems here <clears throat> and you can just pick the one that aligns to your um, current operating system i am on the mac so my one will be dmg installer that should suffice so i can click on this <coughs> download and you will see it coming up over here uh, if you are on windows you can just take the bin exe that should suffice and once you download that um, exe you can then just follow the installation workflow and you should be good to go so i do have uh, i do operate on a mac os so from here, I can just click on my download um, artifact and then um, double click on that package. And I can just run through this installation workflow. I already do have the JDK installed on my machine. So once you um, run through the workflow, you can then just go to your terminal. So I'll open my terminal like so. And then in the terminal, I just wanna check the if Java is successfully installed. So I'll type a command Java um, hyphen hyphen version, just like that, enter. And I'm able to see my JDK version that is currently installed. And if you already um, installed this one, then you will see um, uh, JDK 25 um, showing up in this particular fashion. So once you have your JDK, then you're good to go. We can then close all of this. We don't need all these anymore. And I can also eject uh, this particular 
um, download and then we can now jump to our IntelliJ download. So for our IntelliJ installation, we'll type IntelliJ download, just like that. And we want to go to JetBrains and we can download IntelliJ, click on the first link. And you will see here it's IntelliJ IDE Ultimate. So with the Ultimate, you can download this as according to the recording of this video, there is a um, free license that we can use and I'll show you how to get that license once we're done. So once you um, land on this download page, you can then select your operating system similarly to the Java install, um, Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So you pick up the most appropriate um, download artifact and according to me, I have the Mac OS so I can download the .dmg and I should be fine with that. So I do have IntelliJ installed already, but I'm just gonna let this run through so that I can show you once it's done, what you need to do. So our download is done. Then we just need to double click on our download artifact. So I'm gonna click on that. And on my Mac, it's gonna show the JetBrains installation window and I can just drag this IntelliJ icon into applications and it should install just like that. But on Windows, you will need to follow the installation workflow. And once you are done, uh, because I already have IntelliJ here, I'll just show you on my IntelliJ what you will see. Uh, so I'll just close this one and I'll eject uh, this guy over here. And then I'll go to my IntelliJ and I will close this project. Let me close it here. Once you are done with your installation, you will see this particular window. Welcome to IntelliJ IDE. And if you have project, it will look like mine, but if you, it's a new clean install, there won't be any project here. So you can create a new project over there. So you can click on new project and then you can build any project that you want to build. But we'll see this on the following episodes. For now, what we want to showcase is the free activation license. Let's see that. For the free activation license on IntelliJ Ultimate, we can actually um, use Amigos code, Amigos code. So I don't know if there's a promotion or what on Amigos code, but they do have a free license. Let me just say IntelliJ license here, enter. Then you will see IntelliJ free license. You wanna click on that. So guys, please note, this is not a promo for Amigos code or IntelliJ or anything. It's just what I came across because I am an enthusiast of Java Spring Boot development. So you can see here, they are saying for three months license, use code, Amigos code and redeem on JetBrains store for slash redeem. So we're gonna copy this code. Then we're gonna click on this link. It's gonna open on a new window. Then redeem coupon or promo. And then what you wanna do here is paste that promo code Amigos code 2024. And you can then proceed to um, create your profile, put your details and um, follow the steps uh, all the way to the end and then you can redeem and you will get some emails uh, and communications to activate um, your account. Once your account is active and you authenticate um, your license this side, you can be able to then um, redeem the license and activate on your IntelliJ IDE. And again, this is not a promo. It's something that I came across um, because I am a fan of Amigos code and I do love IntelliJ for my Spring development. So I hope this is helpful so that you can get at least three months uh, of free um, IntelliJ toolset or IntelliJ um, exploration. I hope this video is helpful and please do like, subscribe and share to other developers. Until next one, 
Cheers.